It's a special day for making it grow when Susie Ellison of the South Carolina Department of Agriculture's Specialty Food Division comes down. Susie, we're so happy to have you. And remind our viewers about what the Specialty Foods Division is. Well, Specialty Foods is just a very wide array of specialty food products, and they range all over the state, upstate, PD, low country, Midlands, all over. Um, hot sauces, barbecue sauces, rice, dumplings, honey, teas, coffees, you name it, and we have a ton of different products. We have creative people in South Carolina, and I think you brought one with you today. I did, Tracy Richardson from Lilies in Charleston. Tracy, I'm so happy that you're with us, and you have a lovely story about how the name of this product came about. Uh, thank you for having me. Uh, the name Lilies uh, is named after my father's aunt, uh, my great aunt Lily. And when we were, um, when my father was stationed in the service in New Jersey, we would go visit my great aunt Lily on Sundays to have our um, Southern Sunday dinners. <laughs> and so then your father came back to South Carolina and I think he was a restaurateur. <laughs> yes, he had a uh, restaurant called The Rib Shack on King Street. And growing up, my sister and I worked the restaurants in summers when we were in college. And people were always asking for the sauce. And he'd go to the back and he'd get them samples of the sauce for them to cup. take yeah. home. Yeah. And after the restaurant closed, people were still asking for it. And so my sister and I decided to start bottling it. Oh, and that's right. how we got Lilies of Charleston. And Susie, I think everything that she's brought today has some of the product in it. Why don't you start with what's down there near you? A nice, cool, refreshing beverage <laughs> right in the middle of the summer. You call this the Palmetto Mule? Yes. Okay, your version of the Moscow Mule. Exactly. All right, what goes in it? So we have uh, ginger beer, sweet tea. Can't go do anything without sweet tea in the South. And we have um, vodka. Uh, lime juice and then we rimmed it with a specially made salt that has our hot sauce in it. So it's got the hot sauce, sugar and um, salt mixture with a little bit of uh, black pepper. That'd be nice. Hopefully you can uh, package that one day. <laughs> Ooh, I would love to. And I believe you have two hot sauces so tell us what the difference is please. Sure. So the Low Country Loco is a hot uh, version. All of our sauces uh, have a lot of flavor so the heat sort of sneaks up on you. A lot of our customers call it sneaky heat. And the um, special blend is a milder version. So if you want still the hot sauce flavor, you can use it um, and it doesn't have a lot of heat. And our products all are low in sodium. And Susie, we were talking about the hot sauces. They're not watery. They're no. kind of they amazingly have a wonderful texture. Mm -hmm. It's more of a condiment slash sauce. The Low Country um, Loco is my favorite. And because it's any, anyone that knows me knows that I, I drink the stuff literally. <laughs> <laughs> and then um, I think we have a, an hors d'oeuvre. Yes, so what we did was we um, made hummus and we um, swirled the hot sauce in with it and with a little olive oil and some black sesame seeds. Oh, I was wondering what the what the decoration was. Yeah, how sesame. perfectly and how perfect for South Carolina. Yes. Except we need to say Benny seeds. Don't yes, we? exactly. <laughs> <laughs> and then um, Susie, ask. Let's learn. See what we're going to get in this one. I don't know. I was thinking maybe a dirty rice, but it's it's a gullah rice. Gullah rice. Gullah red rice, actually. Okay, gullah red rice. Yep. So we put sausage um, and shrimp in our red rice uh, with a mixture of like a vegetables. With we have um, onions, celery, uh, red bell peppers. Um, you make the liquids first. Then you add the rice to it and mm -hmm. the meat, and then we cook it on the stove just till it boils, and then put it in the oven to sort of dry it oh, out. Oh, oh! And again, because your sauces are not just a liquid inferno of heat, that they're really, as Susie said, more like a condiment. You can use it in this way to really bind everything together. Right. Our hot sauce is so thick that a lot of people use it as an ingredient when they're cooking. You can use it for your greens. You can use it when you make chili. There's a lot of recipes on our website in which it shows you how you can use the hot sauce um, as an ingredient besides just the condiment like on your eggs. And um, although you didn't bring anything with the mustard on it today. <laughs> Susie, see if you can get some ideas from her of how we can use these mustard sauces. Well, they're, they're barbecue sauces and they're, that's probably not really a good term because barbecue sauces have the cliche, you know, it says these things are more like a condiment. Right, know? right. And plus you have some dry products that are fixing to be 
introduced very shortly, don't you? Yes, so uh, sort of like our um, salt, we're going to be introducing um, some rubs and some poultry brine. So we'll have a chicken poultry brine, we'll have a uh, mild chicken rub and a hot chicken rub, and then we'll also have like this nice sweet pork rub. And Susie, if people want to see listings of the South Carolina Specialty Food products in that wonderful array that just celebrates the um, creativity of our South Carolinians, what, how do they get to your website? The website is scsfa.org, or you can just Google South Carolina Specialty Foods. It's easy to find. It, it pops right up. Well, I want to thank you so much for coming and sharing your family's history and, um, and all the wonderful things that y'all are cooking. And Susie, thank you for coming, as always. It's always my pleasure.